here's the easy and the simple way how you can install Battlefield 2 on your Linux PC. Before we start, please make sure that your PC is capable of running this game and make sure that you are using proprietary drivers for your video card and if you are using Intel integrated video card there is a chance that it might not work so know about please note ok let's begin and let's install and play Battlefield 2 online ok first thing what we need to do is to download play on Linux uh, you can download Plan on Linux from their official website. Go to planlinux.com, download, and download whatever distribution version you need. I'm using Ubuntu, so I will download this file and install it. Great. After we install Plan Linux, now we need to get the game. Uh, we can get the game from a uh, battlefield. To revival project a fairly new project that I'm enjoying it quite a bit really nice community and moderators team and the developer team I'm enjoying it so we're gonna start we're gonna download the game from here first to download you need to register and when you register you're gonna get a CD key as well and I'm gonna show when you will need the CD key and next download press download and I'll link this page and you will see the download uh, button here press it and download it I already downloaded this and you can see this is what will download you will just extract it and you will see this and set up exe file and this files. Great. Great. Now let's start playing Linux. First thing what we need to do in playing Linux is uh, download the wine version. For that press tools manage wine version. Uh, I've tested this with 1.9.3 and it works and make sure that x86 is selected because 64 bit wine has a lot of issues a lot of errors a lot of problems so 32 bits is the way to go for now select the 32 bit wine x86 and select 1.9.3 and press this arrow ok and it will download the wine version for us next ok i'm gonna pause the video and come back after it's complete downloading it ok as you can see it finished downloaded downloading the wine version now let's close this and we need to create a new wine prefix for that press configure new next 32 bit 1.9.3 i've tested with this wine version and it works and let's call whatever we want i'll call it bf for battlefield next and it will start creating a wine prefix for us i'm gonna pause this video and come back after the installation is complete okay as you can see it's finished uh, creating a wine prefix let's select that wine prefix and before we start the installation we need to install a couple of components select install components and find dx full setup dx 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 full setup press install it will start a download okay i'm gonna pause the video and come back after it's finished installing okay now let's select dot net 20 this is net framework 2.0 so select .NET 20 and press install again I'm gonna pause the video and come back after it's complete installing it ok now let's select .NET 4.0 or .NET 40 this is .NET framework 4.0 press install select it and install it 
again I'm gonna pause the video and come back after it's completed installing it okay after it's uh, complete and installing it scroll down and find VMP9 VMP9 and install that and I should mention this that there is a written form of this uh, guide on the beta log web page here's a beta this written form and uh, if you have any problems with installing our battlefield you can uh, you can post about your issues in this thread it's a writing form and basically this is a where you can write about your problems in tr troubleshooting problems or anything or you can just follow you say guide uh, in written form okay okay as you can see it's finished installing as well next thing we should do is to start installing the game uh, installing battlefield to revival but before we start that there's one more thing we should do we should run battlefield 2 in windowed mode because otherwise there is a big chance that it will glitch out on you so we should enable windowed mode for that press wine configure wine press graphics and uh, write whatever resolution you are planning to run this game in I'm planning to run this game in 720p so I'm gonna check emulate virtual desktop and type 720p resolution and make sure that you check automatically capture mouse in full screen as well and apply ok great now let's start the installation for that press miscellaneous run an exe file in virtual drive find the extracted folder this is what you would download and just extract it and here it is release and let's select setup open ok great let's press install and it will start the installation process I'm gonna pause the video and come back after the installation is complete ok as you can see it finished uh, installing battlefield and now we should run uh, ok we should run and make sure that everything is checked here and press finish it gonna show us the license key in tray uh, window and remember I told you that when you register the game gives you a license key so go to uh, betalog.co page ok uh, betalog.co page and pr uh, press profile my profile my profile ok it will load that's my profile press account settings account settings and get beta lock key select that and as you can see here is your beta lock key copy paste it in these windows both of them okay this will take some time I hate when you can't Okay, let's uh, copy paste it. Okay, copy paste it. I'm gonna pause the video and or so I'm already almost finished. Or so let me finish it. Most there. Uh, 
head a true you copy paste it uh, same code in both of these window both of these lines both types the same serial code okay and press apply and now press close now it will check punkbuster if you see a punkbuster k okay, error ignore it it still works i don't know why it chose that error so just ignore it there is no problem with punkbuster i'm gonna pause the video and come back after it's completed downloading punkbuster files okay as you can see it finished downloading pass punkbuster files press ok and uh, it, if this it shows you this error just ignore it press quit here okay close this great now we need to create a shortcut to start our battlefield game for that press general and make sure that this fine prefix is selected and press make a new shortcut from virtual drive it's scanning for files that it can create a shortcut out of okay okay and let's select bf2 launcher exam and press next next as you can see see it created a shortcut we'll see it will create a shortcut on the desktop and in plan linux menu as you can see it created a shortcut here press cancel here and press close here and we can start this game either from here or from here let's start it from here and this is here an important thing what we're gonna do here we need to change few settings in the game menu because you should set terrain quality to low uh, otherwise you will see black glitches and you should disable anti-aliasing because you don't need it because it doesn't work so disable anti-aliasing and set the terrain quality to low other, other codes other graphical settings are up to you okay let's log in i'm gonna log in now okay let's start the game make sure that uh, okay it hasn't added my username press settings and press create new profile if I it will auto login like this and press play battlefield 2 it will start the game and just like I said make sure that you change uh, game graphical settings I don't know why didn't it start on the first start it should have but you can exit it let's press options here and let's change the video settings I'm gonna select 720p and make sure that you set terrain quality to low and uh, anti-aliasing to off everything else is up to you apply and you can start the game and have fun thank you for watching hope it was helpful